the ICT 2013 conference in Lithuania, innovators, researchers and entrepreneurs were brought together for three days of digital inspiration, creativity and connecting, organised by the European Commission. Vice President of the European Commission, Neely Kroos, took to the stage to talk about how technology can help shape the future. What will the future look like? No one can say for certain. But one thing is clear. That change will continue to be driven by technology. And as Winston Churchill said, if you do not take change by the hand, it will grab you by the throat. So let's embrace this change. We do not always know what tomorrow's innovation can be, but we can provide the basic enabling environment to help it happen. With a strong performance in areas like electronics, big data, 5G mobile, or high performance computing, we could give Europe's most dynamic businesses a great gift which to work wonders. I'm so excited about this event. I'm excited because it is uniting the different generations. It's not only about you, innovators, researchers, entrepreneurs. It is also about our young generation. And I met the most wonderful girl this morning. And I would like to invite her. Could you come over to the stage? And the young girl nearly introduced to the stage was 14-year-old Amy Mather from Manchester, England, a self-confessed mini girl geek. My name is Amy Mather and I'm 14 years old and I'm from Manchester in England. And my this is my Twitter handle, mini girl geek. So you can follow me on Twitter. The Vice President of the European Commission invited me up onto the stage to talk with her this morning. I personally think that we need to change the way that education is. Um, currently, it's kind of very curriculum. And you don't have the opportunities to kind of go out and branch into what you and really specialise at a young age, which I think is what you need to do in order to prepare for the real world. So I think that we need inspiring teachers who um, young people will look up to, um, so as then they will be inspired to learn and will want to learn. Education kind of needs to be fun, and you need the opportunities to be able to branch into what you want to do instead of just sticking to the normal things. You need to be able to kind of specialise and go into um, kind of unusual subjects and just follow what you're interested in. In Manchester there's lots of geek communities and it's really fun. So um, outside of school I go to places in Manchester where there's um, Raspberry Jams which is where Raspberry Pi users meet and they use Raspberry Pis and Coda Dojos which is for under 18s um, where you learn to code with mentors and um, YRS is kind of similar but it's a week long event and there's make fairs which you can attend and there's all kinds of really nice people who are out there who want to teach you who are currently in the industry. I learn about computer science and also kind of how to be prepared for the real world because you're learning like how they do it instead of like how schools teach you to do it so you're kind of learning what's actually kind of useful for you in later life and this means a lot because after being taught by the community I've kind of gone back and I've taught some girls in my area I've taught I've helped and um, STEM ambassadors learn how to use scratch and stuff on the Raspberry Pi um, so yeah it's great and Cheryl Miller from Zen Digital Europe who organized the awards was truly inspired by Amy and her passion for digital technology it's not really me speaking for them, but it's about giving them the opportunity to share their stories and to in turn become inspiring to other young girls and other women um, and to share best practices on how we get more girls and women working in these areas. So for me, this was the, the dream and uh, she is the reality.